in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the merciful. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our course, Introduction to Phonetics and Phonology. And uh, as you know, we are dealing with the phonemic sounds these days, or in the phonetic sounds or phonemic uh, transcription. We are talking all of, about these things. So our today's topic, as you can see here, IPHR, although we have discussed already in our face-to-face -face classroom about this IPHR, but I want that this uh, description, explanation, and interpretation of this IPHR must be in recorded form so that whenever you feel some problem, you can watch this video and you can consult this video to understand these phonemic sounds in greater detail or in, you can get mastery and command over these IPH sounds. So let's start our today's lecture. Here you can see international phonemic chart or this chart is all about these sounds or phonemic sounds. Here are three sections as you can see. The light gray color in the dark gray, gray color or light yellow color, three colors as you can examine here. And as we, this chart is kind of in front of you. There are three sections. In three sections, two types of sounds are descri described. As we, you know about 26 English letters, or uh, these are the alphabet of English language, A to Z, you all are very well familiar with these letters. So now we are discussing the sounds produced by those 26 letters of English language. So let's start with the vowels and then we will discuss consonants. Here are two types of sounds that are made, what we can say, these are the 44 sounds that you can understand and uh, which under this heading of international phonemic chart. So vowel sounds and consonant sounds. You are familiar with the vowel letters and consonant letters. Here we are discussing not letters, we are discussing sounds, vowel sounds. So the, uh, here are 20 vowel sounds and 24 consonant sounds, All right? These are the consonant and vowel sounds. In under the heading of vowel sounds, there are more categories, there are more two categories you can find out. In light gray color, these are the monosounds, single sounds, and the darker gray color, you can see the diphthongs or what we can say, the double sounds, or two sounds. In the last sections, light yellowish color, you can see the consonant sounds. All these are the 24 consonant sounds. Whereas vowel sounds are, how many vowel sounds are there? These are the 20 vowel sounds. And again, these vowel sounds are more classified or classified into more two categories, monotones and diphthongs. Monotones mean single sound. We start with the position, with the particular position of the mouth and we end with the same position. Whereas in diphthongs, we start from the particular position of the sound, sorry, of the particular position of the mouth and we end into another position of the mouth. So we will see the examples later. So first of all, we will start with this, uh, what we can say, the f uh, from the very left side, you can see here this sound, e, e, long e sound. In monotones, two types of sounds you can observe, long sound and short sound. Here you can see the dot, it means it's a long sound. Uh, here, u, a, or o, or a. So here are dots you can identify with these dotted sounds, these are the long sounds. So number one is there from the very left side as you can see the laser cursor, I trying to point you with this uh, cursor. So E, the long E sound, E, next, U, or U, next row, and these are the 12, these are the 12 monotones in the first row, four, second row, four, and in the third row, there are four sounds. So 
these are total 12 monochrome sounds. Second row, a. An example, bed. A, a teacher. The four R sound. It's a, a. a bird. A, the underlined sound or underlined letters you can identify with these particular sounds. Here you can see R. R. Next sound, O. Here, O. Like door. The last, uh, sorry, yeah, the, yes, the last line of the monophones, light gray color, the third row, you can see, a. The sound is a, a, not a, a. Right? Next sound, a. Next sound, a. Like far, arm. Long sound. Next, um, short sound, um. These are the 12 monophones and we have discussed under the category of vowel sounds. Again, there are vowel sounds, but these, these are not the single sound. These are the double sounds. These are called diphthongs. <coughs> these are, well, how many these you can uh, count? One, two, three, these are eight. 12 monophthongs and eight diphthongs total. 12 plus eight, 20. So 20 vowel sounds you can observe. So in under the heading of diphthongs, you can see the first sound here, as you can observe this cursor, ear, here, I'm sitting here, I'm recording my lecture here, it's not a hair, as you be being a non-native English speaker, we pronounce this one here, please come here, it's not come here, so come here, here, right, ear, next, a, wait, in the, what we can say, the underlined letters, A, I, A, A, the sound is A. Next is Ua, Ua, Tua, Tuarist, the underlined letter, it resembles with these sounds, Ua. Next, Oe, next, Ow, Ow, Now, Show. These are the two sounds. Now, in the word, that's word we say, no, no, it's not a no. Now, now, ow. Next, air, hair. Next, I, my, sky. Next, ow, cow. You can see this, ow, cow. So here you can see, the although these are the monophthongs, these are, these are the monophthongs, but here, Two, two monophthongs that combine under the heading of diphthong. So we can say the uh, in uh, doc, in diphthongs or in diphthongs, these are the actually these are the combined monophthongs. Two monophthongs are combined under the heading of this diphthongs. So we we have discussed the twenty vowel sounds. This is all about vowel sounds. Again, vowel sounds are categorized into categories, into more subclassification, but we can say monophthongs and diphthongs. In monophthongs, there are 20 sounds, and there are long sound and short sounds. Uh, or in, under the heading of diphthongs, we can say these are the 12 diphthongs, 12 plus 8, 20 vowel sounds. In the last section, you can see here, consonant sounds, the light yellowish color, you can see all are consonant sounds. Here we cannot find out long sound or short sound, but here we can see and we can identify consonant sounds into more subclassification, voiced and unvoiced. So in voiced sounds, as we have observed and I have once I have told you in the class is that put your finger on throat or put your finger on Adam's apple, the projecting part, part of your neck. So here you will put your finger and say the sound. P, P, B, P. When we say the first sound here, this first sound in under the heading of consonant sound, P, there's no vibration. It means it's a unvoiced sound. Next sound, B, 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 B. There's a vibration. It means it's a voiced sound. Next, T, no vibration, unvoiced. Next, J, D. Vibration is a voiced next ch ch 
It means there is no vibration and voice sounds. Sh, sh, sh sound. Next sound is j, j, voiced vibration. Kha, kha, no vibration and voice sounds. G, g, vibration. It's a voice sounds. Next sound. We cannot say it. it's a F. It's a the starting initial sound of sound right then you are unable to hear this voice so it's a sound there is no vibration it means it's an unvoiced sound v, v, mm. this is a lot of vibration i can feel in my throat when i am pronouncing this v sound v. this it means it's a voice sound the next sound sing sing there is no vibration no vibration sing and it means uh, no vibration and voice next sound the the this the there vibration voice sound no vibration z, z, a lot of vibration i can feel in my throat z, z sound it means it's a voice sound next sound is shh, shh. although this symbol resemble with the f sound but it's not a F, it's a sh sound. Shells. Shell. Sh shoe. The starting sound is a shoe. Next sound. Uh, this symbol resembles to the digit number three, but it's not a three. It's a ja sound. Ja. Television. Ja. Ja sound. Right? Ja. It means vibration or it's a voice sound. Next. Mm. Vibration. Mm. Mm, vibration. Mm, vibration. Mm, 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 G. The large sections, all our voice sounds. Mm, 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 sorry. Mm, mm, G. Except this H sound or except this ha sound. Ha. This is unvoiced, and the rest of all sounds in the last three sounds, uh, row, these are the voice sounds. In the first row, there is a pair, unvoiced voice, unvoiced voice, unvoiced voice, unvoiced voice. In the second row, it's also a pair, unvoiced voice, unvoiced voice. But it's in the last section, in the last row, you can see, you can observe, the all the sounds are voiced, except Ha sound. Ha. 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 No vibration. Unvoiced. Then the rest of the old sounds are voice sound. Here you can see that uh, the last row. Mm, mm, mm. These also three sounds are also called nasal sounds. The sound produced from the nasal cavity. And these are the sound, uh, old, also called nasal sounds right i hope you understood it very well so it is it is an international phonemic chart and you need to learn all those symbols and transcription of the sounds and whenever you will try to find out the uh, meaning of a word in a digital dictionary or in a in another dictionary paper dictionary you can find out these symbols over there are uh, written uh, with the meaning in brackets you can find out these symbols and you will be able to you will be i think uh, in better position to understand the meaning as well as the sounds and the pronunciation of the words in a better way and but in the start you will i think you will pay to more and more attention and you will have to be more conscious related to these sounds and you have to learn a lot about these sounds because it's a new things and these are the new symbols you never heard and you never learned before this so please pay your full attention and try to understand all these sounds and uh, apart from this i have also shared the link of uh, some other netflix videos and uh, you, i hope you all have watched and you have observed all that these sounds already so if 
it was all about IPHR, International Clinic Charge, at the end of our today's lecture. Goodbye.